OpenAI is back again with a new model. This is where I would like to introduce the GPT-4 Omni Mini. The Mini model is a cost-efficient model that developers will love due to its reduced token usage. This model is aiming to make AI more accessible and affordable, expanding on the range of different applications it's capable of working on. GPT-4 Omni Mini is scoring an 82% on the MMLU benchmark, which is outperforming GPT-4.1 in chat preferences on the LMSYS leaderboard. It's currently actually priced at 15 cents per million input tokens and 60 cents per million output tokens, which is significantly cheaper than previous models and over 60% less expensive than GPT-3.5 Turbo. The GPT-4 Omni Mini is ideal for tasks that require low cost and latency, such as chaining or paralyzing multiple model calls. It can handle large volumes of context or provide fast real-time text responses like customer support chatbots, and it's something that would be ideal for developers as well. Currently, it supports text and vision in the API, with future plans to include text, image, video, and audio inputs as well as outputs. It's a model that has a 128k uh, token context window and it supports up to 16k output tokens per request so that it can retain and contain different types of knowledge up to October 2023. Its improved tokenizer is going to make it more handling towards non-English text and it's going to be more efficient with that as well. So this is something that has been recently released just within a couple of hours and it's something that I'm going to be making a video on and showcasing a couple tests. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video as we explore the OpenAI GPT-4 Omni Mini. In the past, we've seen many mini models which are quite powerful in the respective size. But the GPT-4 Omni Mini is quite special and can't be actually compared to many of these other mini models. It's a powerful AI model that excels in understanding text and handling multiple types of data like text and images. It outperforms GPT-3.5 Turbo and other small models on various tests. The GPT-4 Omni Mini supports many languages and does well in quite a lot of tasks requiring reasoning, math, and coding. With reasoning, it actually scored an 82% on MMLU. This is better than the Gemini Flash, which scored a 77.9 percentage, as well as the Claude Haiku model, which scored a 73.8 percentage. Within the math and coding proficiency category, it excels in math and coding tasks with a score on the MGSM benchmark, which is 82% or 87%, sorry. And on Human Evil, it scored an 87.2, where it is outperforming the Gemini Flash model as well as the Cloud Haiku model. With multimodal reasoning, GPT-4 Mini is also showcasing strong performances on MMMU, which is the Multimodal Reasoning Evaluation. It scored in 59.4%, which is not the best obviously, but it's obviously ahead of many of the other models that are out there, such as the Gemini Flash model, which scored a 56.1%, and the Claude Haiku model, which scored a 50.2%. And you can see a good model evaluation score and with all these different models that are quite respectively within the same category. The GPT-4 Omni Mini is outpacing all three of these models. GPT-3.5 Turbo, which is colored blue. You have Haiku, which is colored green. And then Gemini Flash, which is colored yellow. And then all the way at the top is GPT-4 Omni, obviously, which is outpacing all of the models. But you can see within the MGSM benchmark, which is for coding and math, you can see that the GPT-4 Omni Mini is almost on par with the GPT-4 Omni model. This is just great to see, and you can see that with almost every performance, it is outpacing almost all of these other models. And something cool to note is that companies like Ramp, as well as Superhuman, found that the GPT-4 Omni Mini was significantly better than the GPT-3.5 Turbo for tasks like extracting data from receipts, as well as generating high-quality email responses. Now, the GPT-4 Omni Mini has a built-in safety measure that is quite similar to the GPT-4 Omni model. It's going to ensure reliable and safe responses, and during development, 
harmful content was actually filtered out so that the model's behavior is more aligned with safety policies using techniques like reinforcement learning with human feedback. Over 70 experts tested the GPT-4 Omni for risk, which led to improvements in the GPT-4 Omni Mini. It also uses a new method to basically resist malicious prompts, so it makes it safer for large-scale use cases, and it's going to be a continuous monitoring effort to make sure that it's going to enhance its safety over the weeks and months that this model is deployed. Now, in my opinion, I see this being too centralized and it's something that I really do not like. These built-in safety measures are kind of restricting the creative generation that is being prompted or queried into these models. I definitely see it becoming too centralized and this is why I tend to love using open source models because you're not restricted in the generation, you can prompt whatever you want and there's no sort of restricted access to certain types of generation. Now, this mini model is available as a text and vision model in the system API. You can actually access it right now, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. You can access the chat completion API as well as the batch API. The pricing is currently at 15 cents per a million input tokens and 60 cents per a million output tokens, roughly equivalent of 2,500 pages in a standard book, which is absolutely amazing. Now, they are planning to roll out a fine tuning for GPT-4 Omni Mini in the coming days, which is really great to see. And within ChatGPT itself, the free plus as well as the team users can actually access the GPT-4 Omni Mini starting today. So if you go to your ChatGPT, it's going to be replacing the GPT-3.5 model and enterprise users will actually have access to this next week. So this is something that you should definitely stay tuned for because it is huge because you will be ac accessing this completely for free and you'll be able to get the best generations. And at the end of this blog post, they basically summarized by stating that AI is getting a lot smarter and a lot cheaper. They used the comparison of the text da Vinci model versus the GPT-4 Omni model where they saw that there was a 99% drop in terms of the token usage and they're planning on keeping this up with their future models where they're going to keep lowering costs while making their models even better. This is a hint for their future model where they're going to be potentially releasing GPT-5. In my opinion, this is something that will be released within this year, but it's kind of hard to say. Maybe we see it at the end of this year, but that's just my guess. We saw the release of the GPT-4 Omni model plus this new mini model. So we could see something within the next couple of months maybe a GPT-4.5 Omni model. But in my opinion, I think we're just going to go straight into a GPT-5 model at the end of this year. And that's about it for today's video. I definitely have a lot of respect for OpenAI for continuously pushing out better models that are quite reduced in terms of its costage. This is a great model that I'm definitely going to be utilizing for many use cases. So with that thought, guys, I'll leave a link to this blog post and the link in the description below. Make sure you follow me on Patreon so that you can access subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.